I'm a little surprised that uh, I haven't won another Australian Open in this 10-year stretch. Uh, you know, I managed to get a couple of Masters uh, in that period and a PGA, but uh, it would be nice to get my name on that cup again. Well, obviously, I got a lot of people congratulating me, which was really nice, and. Uh, just the whole hi the history of this event is, is huge. The names that have won it. Um, so having my name engraved in that in the trophy and just looking at all the names was really really special. And just a lot of people just congratulating me because it's a it's a big win. It'll be just unreal. It'll be a great feeling. It'll be wonderful to be in contention. I really like the course. As I said, I've, I've played in Australia a lot. You know, since the 90s, middle, early 90s, I played at the, in, at the Vines in Western Australia. I've played in Melbourne. I've played uh, up in Queensland. So, and I've won quite a few in Australia. You know, I've won, I think, four or five times in uh, Australia. Will you be having dinner with Ernie sometime this week? Have you planned to get together? Uh, no, not really. I'm still too shy to ask. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a legendary uh, leader to me. Uh, I was, I, was, I was honored to get to play with him on Tuesday, uh, nine holes with Abraham Anson and uh, KJ Choi, and that was really cool for me because uh, just watching him chipping around the green, that, that just gave me goosebumps because he's won so many majors, and uh, when I was little, I watched him playing uh, growing up, so that was, uh, that was a really cool experience for me. Yeah, it would be nice. Uh, it's a shame that I haven't, I haven't played this uh, this open before uh, it's my my debut as almost a, as a 40 year old so uh, it kind of sounds a little bit funny but uh, yeah I'm excited uh, I'm excited to to play well and and give it a give it a good run yeah it, it probably is to be honest yeah with the uh, with the added commitments um, everyone kind of wants a bit of a piece here which is fine um, I love giving back but um, it, it is hard um, but it's, it's part of the challenge and, I, and I'm, I'm always up for a challenge, so. I don't know if there's two events that I want to win more than this event and the President's Cup. Um, like I said, I've played this a lot of times and never won it and I've played the President's Cup three, soon to be four times and, and haven't won that, so. Um, I mean, I've just got to tr play good, do what I can to, to play well because I know that I'm not going to win this week if I don't play well. And I'm not certainly, you know, we're not going to win as a team next week if, if we don't play well as a team. So, um, yeah, to have two weeks in a row where you want to, you really want your game peaking for the whole time is, is a little different. But, um, you know, like I said, every event you want to try and win. I know you're not going to win every event, but um, this is a little bit unique in, in that respect. Is it true that you used to travel with your own mattress? Do you still do that? And is it here this week? And how are you getting it to Melbourne next week? <laughs> yeah, that will be fun to try and get it, yeah. Um, no, I used to, yeah, a long time ago, uh, three years ago, I used to travel with, with a mattress when I still had, you know, um, some back issues. Um, I'm all good now, um, no problems, and sorted everything out. And um, Yeah, it was a fun year to, to try and organise all the logistics and stuff to do that but uh, um, I mean luckily that's all behind me. But it was well I turned pro in 2000 so probably 01 or 02 was my first visit um, as a professional even though in 99 I played in Lake Macquarie uh -huh. uh, as an amateur that was a messy week but it was good fun. <laughs> uh, yeah so it's been been 20 years um, of intermittently visiting Australia good to be back.